I invite you to rise in body and in spirit as together we affirm what we believe about the church. Let us say together, we believe that God has entrusted the church with the message of reconciliation in and through Jesus Christ. We believe that the church is called to be salt of the earth and the light of the world. We believe that the church is called blessed because it is a peacemaker. We believe that the church is witness both by word and by deed to the new heaven and the new earth in which righteousness dwells. Amen. You may be seated. <clears throat> it is both with sadness and in the confidence of our faith that we share with you the death of three of our members. Nancy Beck, Corrine Hollins, and Betty Winters. A service of witness to the resurrection in celebration of Nancy Beck's life will be held Saturday, May 20 at 1 p.m. in the Crown Hill Memorial Chapel, and this will be preceded by a calling at 11 a.m. Please join us in keeping the Beck, Hollins, and Winters families and their loved ones in our hearts and our minds as we turn this morning to God in prayer. God of compassion, we remember before you the poor and the afflicted, the sick and the dying, prisoners and all who are lonely, the victims of war, injustice, and inhumanity, and all others who suffer from whatever their sufferings may be called. We pray in particular for the families and friends of Nancy Beck, Corrine Hollins, and Betty Winters, that they may know your faithful presence and abiding peace. On this day that many celebrate as Mother's Day, give us the tenderness and compassion to rejoice with those who rejoice and to weep with those who weep. We rejoice in the gift of mothers and in the gift of mothering. We rejoice in your persistent love, which by your grace finds us and flows through us in ways that surprise and sustain. And we weep with those for whom this day is dreaded, praying especially for those who grieve the physical or emotional absence of a mother, those who grieve the loss of a child, and those who carry deep and painful longings to become a mother. Lord of Providence, who holds the destiny of the nations in your hand, we pray for our country. Inspire the hearts and minds of all our leaders that they, together with all our nation, may first seek your kingdom and righteousness so that peace may dwell with all people. God, the creator, we pray for all nations and peoples and the whole of creation. Take away the mistrust and lack of understanding that divide your creatures. Increase in us the recognition that we are all your children. Savior God, look upon your church and its struggle upon the earth. Have mercy on its weakness. Bring an end to its unhappy divisions and scatter its fears. Look also upon the ministry of your church. 
increase its courage, strengthen its faith, and inspire its witness to all people, even to the ends of the earth. As we join you in your mission in the world, we pray boldly together as Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.